Hello YouTube, this is Michael from PhoneJunkie.org. Here you have the Nokia Lumia 900. It is currently on AT&T Wireless. I want to go ahead and say thank you to AT&T for loaning me this device so I'm able to do a review for it. Alright, we're going to get started here. You have a 4.3 4 inch screen OLED 480 by 800 pixels. On the top here you have your micro SIM slot, pops out little tray that actually is removable, a little flimsy so when you do take it out of there be careful you don't break it or anything. You have your micro USB charging port, then you have your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's nothing here on the left side. On the bottom here you have your speaker. And to the right side of the phone, you have your dedicated your dedicated camera button. You have your lock unlock button, and then you have your up down volume rocker. And this is a unibody design. Uh, there's no removable back for the battery or anything. Everything's attached. Um, I've heard a couple people say that it looks like a phone. Um, inside of a case and it and now that you think about it, it kind of does but it has a little sleek design to it uh, but one thing I do like about the design is that it when I I usually text like this for my days with the Blackberry and this actually works out pretty well with this design I can actually text pretty fast go ahead and go over some of the specs here uh, the weight 5.6 ounces it has 16 gigabyte internal storage uh, and that's all you're going to get. There's no micro uh, SD card or anything like that. Then you have 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, on the back here you have the 8 megapixel camera. Dual flash LED. Uh, you have autofocus. Um, it is video recording at 720p at 30 frames per second. Video stabilization. You have a one megapixel, one megapixel front-facing camera, 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon, single-core processor. Uh, battery size is 1830 milliamps, which is rated it at seven hours talk time, 300 hours standby time. And the OS here is the new Windows 7.5 Mango. And to me, Windows. Uh, OS is comparable to how iOS is for Apple. Uh, you know, you don't get much customization with it. As you can see here, these tiled pixels here, um, you know, they keep changing, updating. They're live pixels. So that's always a plus. You can see down here the pictures. You know, just not like you're going to sit here and watch pictures, but it's kind of nice that it just changes through. Once you see it on one Windows phone, you know, it's pretty much the same throughout all of them. It's not like Android where, you know, you have a skin overlay where it, it changes between vendor. Um, the only thing that really does change between vendors on here is the vendor installed apps. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So if you played with the Titan 2 Windows, you're going to be the same thing as on the Nokia. The only thing different is going to be the HTC apps or the Nokia apps that they installed. You know, I didn't notice any lag. Um, you know, even though it's only 512 megabytes of RAM and only a uh, single core processor, it worked well. Um, I really didn't get into playing games that much or anything like that, so I can't really tell you if, you know, some games are out there, you know, make cause it to lag, anything like that. Uh, another plus thing, back to the live tiles is, is that some of the apps integrated in there. So like, say you have, you're a big eBay person. If you download the, if you go to Marketplace, download eBay, and you pull it up here, um, it'll actually give you a live feed of when the the auction is ending. But if you do too many tiles, too many things, it starts to get confusing. You know, where's everything at? You kind of looking for it, searching for it. Uh, that's the only downside. But you can always just swipe over and go to your list, which is in alphabetical order. So if you do that, um, or you can just automatically hit the search bar and type in the 
app you're looking for pop it up also if you want to move something around you can do that you just hold it starts like that you just move it over wherever you like and just tap it again and you can my daughter actually saw me doing this and asked me if it was a puzzle now the people hub you see right here in Windows 7.5 it groups your contacts from multiple accounts like say Twitter Facebook Gmail whatever it is and it it pops it up so it says what's new here um, this is my Facebook Facebook and then you see right here this is from Twitter so it shows my Twitter and Facebook account that's all I have on here um, then you go over here say recent it'll say that I had a I called Mike Issa I had a text message um, and it goes through all your stuff you know so that's pretty cool um, and I actually you know really got into using that um, I didn't even go I haven't even used the Facebook app yet um, but it's there if you do need it uh, I'm going to go into the messaging app here and just to show you how fast like now I am trying to type around the camera here so um, All right, I put hi. Go ahead and zoom in here a little so you can see that a little. All right, hi, my name is Michael from PhoneJunkie.org. I really like this keyboard. So you can see there's no errors there really. It almost reminds me of the iOS keyboard. Um, you know, to me, I still I'm still having a little bit of trouble finding a keyboard I like on Android. That's my only downside to using Android is typing. I have to respond to a lot of emails, questions, things like that, and just doing it on a phone was really hard um, you know besides using a blackberry bold 9900 I haven't really been able to find phones where I can respond to emails really quick and this is the this is the device that does it so that's always a good thing um, let's go in here to the Internet Explorer but the text is not that um, clear Chris it is good but it could be better um, but when you actually zoom into it, it actually comes up pretty good. The pinch to zoom works very well. The scrolling on the web page works well. No lag. And this is phonedrunkie.org. So check it out. Let's go ahead and go to another website here just to to show you. We'll go to YouTube which has to render a lot to load and this is this is a LTE device so this is on their LTE network alright so you just got a basic view of that now the one of the last things I want to talk about is the camera the camera is not the best it, um, it so if you're looking for a phone with an amazing camera this might not be the device for you but if you're a person who, you know, just needs a decent camera that can do the job, then this is definitely the, the device for you. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go into the camera here. Now, some people say this button is very hard to push it. You have to push it a couple times. Now, you just hold, you know, you can just press it there, and it'll go. And it will push from the, it will go straight to the camera from the lock screen. So all you do is... Have to push it down there, and there it goes. All right, so you have your zoom over here in out. Let me get something over here. Let me see what I have. All right, iPhone 4s is the closest box I have. All right, so. So you see, zoom it in. It. So we're going to take a picture here. Now, all right. So there's the picture. You can see it's not the best. Um, 
and it might just be because of the lights in here or whatever the reason is but I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out the 1x to compare so those are the two that compare if you're looking for a phone with a good camera I would definitely suggest the 1x the 4s or the 16 megapixel Titan 2 <clears throat> going to go into the email app very basic um, you can change your theme if you want these tiles to be blue red pink orange whatever and as you can see the ones that are new it highlights the subject with the color you choose so when you go back it's not that color but then again like when you look in your email to me it looks a little old you know real pixelated hit download pictures button and it downloads to me they can utilize the email app a little bit better you know put some customization in there make it look a little I actually like this look here but it's just when you open it so you have your unread you can go to urgent all unread flagged uh, <clears throat> and that's the way it breaks it down for you you can create a new message select messages sync it or search your mail right. and that's the basic of that All right. other than that um, a few other things are you know your calendar a basic calendar hit month here so just email me, follow me on Twitter, and you all have a good day.